All right, so many states have different laws for what you can and cannot do with roadkill. A new app in Wyoming aims to make it a little bit easier for people picking it up and for agencies to track trends on what actually is getting hit. Reporter Chloe Nordquist has more. It's never a pleasant sight, as seen in this video from the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. An estimated one to two million collisions between cars and large animals happen every year in the U.S. The wildlife vehicle collision is the act, and then what comes out of that is the roadkill. Sarah Dorenzo with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department says that roadkill can be put to good use. 29 other states have roadkill collection laws. Wyoming is one of them. In the case of some carcasses, they can be put to beneficial use. If the, if the carcass isn't destroyed in the crash, you know, it may be um, in good enough condition that someone could use it and eat it. In order to collect it, you have to get permission from the department, a requirement in these other states too, and a process that can take time. But now technology is stepping in here in Wyoming. So we wanted to find a way that was easy with everyone, you know, in everyone's back pocket that they could request permission and get it right away. This is the, the highway map. We are getting reports quicker um, of those uh, animal vehicle collisions on the roadway. Susie Roseberry helped design the app Wyoming 511, where roadkill can be reported. Here at the Transportation Management Center, they have eyes over everything from weather to crashes and, yes, roadkill. We need to know um, migration patterns of these animals so that we can mitigate any issues. And we're hoping that with the public's help, we'll be able to collect more of this data. And one of the major impediments to wildlife movement throughout the United States is roadways. Kevin Crooks is with the Center for Human Carnivore Coexistence. Animal vehicle collisions is a threat to both animals, vehicles, and people. That's why he says a lot of research is going into wildlife crossings around U.S. roads. There's a number of solutions out there. The Game and Fish and Transportation Departments will continue collecting data to learn more about wildlife movement and collisions, while providing a simple way for drivers to pick up the roadkill and put it to use if possible. There were some concerns that this rule could enable people to illegally take wildlife and say, um, you know, I hit this hit this animal on the side on the road when they may have poached it. And if it looks like someone is abusing the system, we can follow up with them and, and check into it. I'm Chloe Nordquist reporting.